how to use your journal, this journal, for success in 2024. First things first, you have to have a journal that you like. I don't think y'all are doing that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm calling you out. If you feel called out, I'm calling you out. Y'all are buying journals from Target, from Walmart. Not that there's anything wrong with those locations, that's not the point I'm making, but y'all are buying journals from these locations that you don't even like. You're buying like a plain black, plain beige, like bro, you gotta get a journal that you actually like that's really pretty, that fits your aesthetic if you have an aesthetic, your personal sense of style if you're actually gonna use it. You're not gonna journal if you have a plain black journal, unless plain black is your vibe. But you, you're not gonna use it if it's not something that's gonna catch your eye on a regular basis. So a journal like this one for my pink girly girls is gonna catch your eye. Every time you see this on your desk, next to your bed, on your nightstand, you're gonna want to open it. You're gonna want to journal because it's freaking pretty, okay? Get a pretty journal. The pretty girls have pretty journals. Thank you. Okay, so that's first and foremost. The second thing, before we even get into the actual contents of this video, use pens that you like. Again, if you have shitty pens, you're not gonna journal. You're not gonna use your journal if your pens suck and you haven't replaced them since middle school. Like, come on now. My personal favorites are the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.7. It looks like this. It has little hearts on it. I really like how these pens write. Obviously, I'm a pink girly, so you get the pink. I mean, it's kind of purple, but y'all get the point. Girly pen to match the girly journal. I also have a green one. I have a few colors, actually, but I like to use a green one when I'm trying to manifest money. And I use the pink one for pretty much everything else just because it looks nice. Again, you want your journal to look pretty. When you flip through it, it should look nice, right? If it looks a mess, then you're going to be inconsistent with it. So pretty journal, pretty journal, pretty pens. <laughs> the 2024 Glow Up Guide, how to get your shit together. A comprehensive interactive journal is the only journal you need in 2024 because look at it. That's the promo right there. Look at her. Look at her. Just beautiful. Just just gorgeous you can get her for $14.99 on amazon.com two-day shipping right one to two day shipping very easy very accessible and very beautiful so i'm going to be breaking down all the contents of this journal to fully explain why you need this journal in 2024 and how exactly it's going to help you become your highest self this year so you may have noticed the title of this book or one of the titles of this book is comprehensive interactive journal and that's because it is not just a blank book plenty of plain pages here's what the plain pages look like there are 80 plain journal pages in this journal. They look like this. They have a section where you can put the title, the date at the top. So you can put the title and the date at the top. And at the bottom, you can either set an intention or just write a couple of feelings for the day. Just how you're feeling. So at the bottom, you can put sad, stressed, anxious, or happy, joyful, whatever. Or just set an intention. So if you're using this kind of as a planner, like you want to put a to-do list here, Maybe at the bottom you set your intention for the day as um, I want to clean my whole house today. I intend for my house to be clean today. So this is what the plain journal pages are looking like. Again, there are 80 of these pages in here. The other 20 pages of this 100 page book are going to be interactive guides, quotes, coloring pages, and more. So the very first page of this book starts with a quote. As soon as you open it, it says, I am my highest self. I can do everything I want to do. I am anything I want to be. This was very important for me to set the tone for the year and for this journal because the whole point of this journal is to become your highest self. So it's very important for you to remind yourself like you are in control here. You have the power to accomplish whatever it is you desire. This is your year. So this right here just gets you in the right vibe, right? And here we have a little guide called how to use this book, right? So right here I've written, <clears throat> This book is designed to help you become the person you want to be in 2024. Instead of creating a plain empty journal, I opted to create an interactive space where you can both pour out your feelings and learn some new things. This book has 80 plain pages for journaling. Here's some suggested uses for these pages. So what you can do with this book here, right? In some of these plain journal pages, if you're not sure what to journal about, some things you can do are diary, right? So that's the journaling out your feelings. Habit tracking, that's something you can do in this book as well. And you can also write favorites list. This is my personal favorite. I am actually gonna be doing this soon as well. But you can write a list of you know your favorite movies, books, recipes, songs, etc. If you're someone who likes to kind of figure out who you are. You can also write your goals, things you want to manifest, which could be the same thing. 
and more. So outside of the journal pages, I've included a law of attraction and manifestation guides, a playlist to get you in the mood to journal, reflection exercises, coloring pages, and more. I feel like I said and more like a million times, but this journal is yours to make your own. So everything I just said for the most part is on this second page of this book. The These pages are not numbered by the way, the pages don't really matter, but how to use this book just in case you forget or you are running out of ideas or you, you know, don't want to watch this video a second time, which you know, like you should, but if you don't want to do that, Everything I said just now is right here. Moving on to page three of this book, we have, like I just mentioned, our Glow Up Guide playlist. So remember, the title of this book, 2024 Glow Up Guide Journal, right? We have the Glow Up Guide playlist, of course. It's only natural. So we have the author songs here, which are my songs, my personal favorite songs. So of course, I'm not going to fill out the second part because like, it's the first part of my songs anyway. But um, I have songs that are basically very confidence-based, have very positive lyrics really lyrics that make you feel like that bitch honestly i will link my playlist in the description of this video i do have it on spotify and make it cute you know add a little cover art title whatever make it something you're actually gonna listen to because this playlist is pointless if you make it and don't listen to it and the next page of this journal i have a self-love reflection exercise and i recommend you do this first so the first few pages of the of this journal I suggest you do them in order. So like read the quote, um, what was it? Read the how-to guide, make your playlist to get you in the mood or just listen to mine or do both. And then do the self-love exercise. So this page basically starts with I love me because, and you're gonna write a love letter to yourself. So you cannot start this journal. You cannot start this journey of self-love and growth and self-improvement and getting all the things you want out of life if you don't love yourself that gotta come first of course it's a journey it's a process you can do all of these things at the same time however like you want to start with the self-love reflection like you gotta you gotta be feeling yourself okay, so after you do that and you're in the right mindset now we're gonna move on to the next part of this journal which is 10 things to focus on this year and 10 important dates this year. So I've included this section here just so you can kind of keep yourself on track with the things you want. So the things to focus on can kind of be vague categories for your goals. Like maybe you want to focus on love this year, peace this year. Those are things you could put here. The next section I have in this book is 10 important dates this year. I've included this because this journal is not a planner. This is not a start first day of the year type of situation you can get this journal whenever it's only 100 pages there are 365 days in a year you know well it's a leap year so we got we you know a little different this time so i just have fashion week for my clothing line which if you're wondering what i'm wearing i'm wearing my own brand it's called now Solita. we are a high-end women's wear brand i run it with my mom we have fashion week in two weeks so that's the first day i have on here this tracksuit is my brand i will link in the in the description if anyone is interested as well as just the site in general and the next little 10 things section i have in this journal is 10 things you are grateful for so again going back to that self-love reflection that was on the i believe third page of the journal you want to start the year with self-love and gratitude right after the gratitude reflection i have 20 blank journal pages in here before the next exercise or guide so I just wrote a little journal prompt, um, new year, new me. So I wrote down basically how I was feeling at the start of the year and what I expect for this year and what I'm excited for. And on my next page, I wrote manifestations. I'm a back up because I ain't none of your business. But um, new manifestations, these are just new things I want this year. Plenty of space, plenty of space. Some of them journals y'all be buying just at, at the store, the plain journals, maybe many, I'm sorry. The cute little journals are cute, but like this book, this journal is a slightly larger as you may notice. For example, this over here is another journal I have. It's cute, it's little, but the journal I use for more intentional endeavors is gonna be this one. Cause as you see, she's big, she's thick. Okay, well she's not thick, but she's a little big, you know what I mean? And that is fantastic. So plenty of space to write down everything you wanna write down. So I have this little coloring book. I put it here, this little coloring page. I only filled in one piece cause I don't even have anything to color with in here. Um, I probably should do that. But I just have these little hearts. I thought it was really cute. Journaling at the end of the day is supposed to be fun. Right after that coloring page, we have our very first reflection exercise. So I have three, ref three reflections in this book, not including the self-love reflection because that was a love letter. So 
that's something separate in my mind. So the first reflection we have here is what is my favorite recent memory? So again, just dipping into that gratitude pot. Think about, um, it could be something old if you want, but I suggest, you know, what's the best thing that's happened to you recently? It, it could be a tiny thing. It could be, oh my God, like I was craving ramen and all of a sudden my friend asked me if I wanted to go get ramen and I had it and it was like the best ramen I've ever had. It could be something simple, but think about recently, what is the, the best thing that's happened to you, right? So that's what you want to write here. I haven't filled it out yet, but that's the very first reflection. Second reflection is going to be what progress have I made towards my goals? So this one, it's January. This one will probably stay blank for a while, but this is just somewhere where you can log like, okay, well, I said I wanted to accomplish X, Y, and Z, and I have done A, B, C so far, right? So just somewhere where you can reflect. And the third journal, the third, not journal, the third reflection prompt is, what are some things I can let go of right now? So a huge chunk of moving on with your life and accomplishing the things you want to accomplish this year is letting go of things that do not serve you. So right here, you can write down all the things you want to let go of. So I have written down that I want to let go of some things I put on my list are negativity, worry, and lack of faith. Lack of faith in the universe, lack of faith in my path, and things of that nature. So that is what I have for the third reflection. And after that, I have another 20 blank journal pages. So remember, it's a 20-page block. So a couple exercises, 20 pages. A couple exercises, 20 pages. The next chunk of interactive guides and things in this book is going to be list of your 2024 affirmations so i again just like the playlist i have the author's affirmations these are just affirmations i've come up with and i've also started to write new ones um but this is basically where you're going to write your affirmations so you put your affirmations make them specific i beg you make them specific the affirmations cannot be my life is great unless that works for you but affirmations i'm gonna say this again i said it in my last video i'm gonna say it again affirmations are supposed to make you feel something if you say these words and it doesn't change it doesn't you don't feel any kind of way it's not good enough your affirmations are supposed to make you feel so an affirmation i have on here they're supposed to be specific to the things you want so one of the things i have on here is my social life is amazing because social is one of the categories in my life that i'm focused on this year and where i'm trying to improve on so saying my social life is amazing is reinforcing to me that yeah, this year my social life is amazing. And you know what? All January, my social life has been amazing. I've had the most fun with my friends. And guess what? I haven't even been out that much. Compared to how often I usually go out, I've gone out a handful of times this month. And every time I went out, it has been so much fun because I'm saying this affirmation. So what I suggest, um, everyone is different. Some people will say their affirmations every single day. To Again, to me, that felt like a chore. I hate being told what to do. I don't like super structured routines. So personally, I'm not doing, there's very few things I do every single day. I do it often, but not every day. So however you wanna make this work is however you wanna make this work. So you can either just read it in the journal whenever you journal, read it every day before bed or first thing in the morning when you wake up. Your conscious mind isn't fully awake, so it's kind of easier to reprogram your subconscious mind when you are going to bed or when you first wake up in the morning. I find it better when I first wake up in the morning because I'm not fully awake. So your brain is very receptive to things. That's why it's very important not to go straight on a Twitter first thing in the morning, right? Because you're feeding your subconscious mind all kinds of foolery. So you can either do that or you can also take your affirmations, write them on sticky notes and put them in places where you're gonna often see them in your, um, in your house where you live. So I have some affirmations on sticky notes in my bathroom on the mirror. That works for me. Again, I don't read them every day. Half the time I look past them. But when I do read them, I feel good about myself because I've made them specific and I've made them work for me. Next thing we have in this journal on the next page is going to be, oh, my favorite part of the book, The Beginner's Guide to the Law of Attraction. I have Law of Attraction guides embedded in this book because this is about manifestation. This year is the year of getting what you want. I am claiming it and you know what? Nothing can stop me because I put it out there. I put it out to the universe, to God, say, God, hey, what's up? This year I want X, Y, and Z and guess what? I'm going to have it because I'm not accepting no for an answer. You cannot accept no for an answer. This is not the year to accept no for an answer. So I have the beginner's guide to the law of attraction here. 
I'm not gonna say everything on these pages because you gotta get the journal. You gotta get the journal if you want the goodies. Like, you gotta get it. So I basically explain what is the law of attraction, the simple principle of the law of attraction, the steps to manifesting, the three key basic steps to manifesting, and other notes and tips I have. On this next page, I have manifestation exercises, just two here. And I also recommend past this video if you're really interested in manifesting. Look on YouTube, look on TikTok. So many people make this kind of content. It's not just me. I'm new to this, right? I'm new to making the content, not watching the content. I know what I'm talking about. And the next manifestation guide I have in here is how to stop manifesting bad things. Now listen, so many people talk about how to manifest good into your life, how to get what you want, how to get what you want, but no one really says how to stop manifesting negativity, how to stop attracting bad experiences. So this is going to, not this page, this is going to explain to you how exactly to stop doing that because you cannot bring the good things into your life if you're bringing bad things into your life. They're gonna cancel each other out and nothing's gonna change. So, and on the next page here, I have the author's guide to being Delulu. Yes, it's a buzzword right now, but listen, it's fun, delusional. Manifesting, I said it earlier, is about being delusional. You have to just pretend. You have to have such a strong imagination. You have to have the imagination that provokes feelings. Like, you have to have an imagination to where, like, you can literally feel the money in your account, bruh. Like, you have, to, you have to feed that imagination. So being delusional is very important to manifesting. On this page, I basically have uh, three principles or three, I guess, um, ways to help you be delusional and help you manifest. So that is my fourth manifestation guide. Next, I have another 20 journal pages. The last little section of, oh yeah, the last little section of interactive things I have in here. It's not even that much, honestly. I have 10 parts of the success mindset, right, written in here. So if you forget, you need some sort of inspiration, motivation, you'll know what to do, right here. 10 parts of the success, 10 parts of the success mindset are one, unwavering belief in yourself, two, commitment, three, patience, four, perseverance, five, consistent action, six, continuous improvement, seven, not dwelling on the past, eight, gratitude, nine, self-acceptance, and 10, growth mindset. Now, this is a combination of what I've learned over the years, just studying this, this niche, if you will, and just my own opinion, this whole journal is kind of around my own opinion, but you can feel free to fact check me because these things do make sense here. They do make sense. I have another coloring book right here. It's this little, or coloring page. It's just 2024. I really love hearts as you can see. So you can just fill this in. I have the final 20 blank journal pages in here. And then I end the journal with another quote, which I think is a very nice end compared to the first quote. So if you remember, the first quote on the first page of the book was, I am my highest self. I can do everything I want to do. I am anything I want to be, right? And the last quote is, I am grateful for the life I have created myself, for myself. I am grateful for the life I have created for myself. Because that first quote is kind of setting the tone for, okay, I have the power to create my life. And the last quote is, I have created my life and I'm very happy for it. And again, even if it's not there yet, be Delulu. Like the guide says, be Delulu. That is basically everything I have in this journal here. It's the 2024 Glow Up Guide. How to get your shit together. Yes, you. Yes, you. How to get your shit together. A comprehensive interactive journal by M. Kai. That's me, Maui Kai. You can get this on Amazon.com. Like I said before, $14.99, one to two day shipping. Very cute, very girly. Use your pens. Use the cute girly pens, please. Use the cute pens. This journal is not something you have to use every single day. You do not have to start at the beginning of the year with it. You can literally use it whenever. But this journal is very beneficial to help you get your life together in 2024 and glow up in 2024. With that being said, I'm a peace out. I've said what I need to say. And I trust that the real ones will do the right thing. And if you don't want to get this journal and you want to use a journal you already have or get a different journal to apply all these tips, by all means, do it. But you're going to be missing out because this one, this is the one. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video.